In the previous videos, we explored the kernel and the display server and desktop environment. Today, we're going to talk about what really makes our Linux car useful, truly functional and fun to drive, the applications and how we manage them. So, as I mentioned, the applications are like the features of your car, the radio, GPS, air conditioning. They're the programs you use every day, your web browser, media players, text editors, and so on. Now, how do we get these applications into our Linux car? This is where the package management comes in. Again, in our analogy, we can think of this as a highly efficient car dealership and a mechanic all in one. The package manager is a system that helps you to find, install, update, and remove applications. For example, Ubuntu, Debian, and other Debian-based distributions use APT, Advanced Package Tool. So if you want to install something, delete something, or update something, you would go into your terminal and type something like this. Arch Linux uses Pacman. Fedora and Red Hat use DNF, or Dendified YUM, to handle the RPM packages. OpenSUSE uses Zipper, the command line package manager, which works with the RPM packages. Now a short word on the RPM package manager. RPM is a low-level package management system used to manage RPM files which are the package format for several Linux distributions, such as Red Hat, Fedora, CentOS, and OpenSUSE. But RPM Package Manager can be a little difficult to use, since it's low-level. Now, DNF and Zipper are high-level package managers. They work on top of the RPM and provide a user-friendly interface or user-friendly way to manage software packages on Linux systems. So when you want to install an application, the package manager finds the right version for your system, checks if you have all the necessary components or dependencies, downloads and installs the applications and any missing components, sets everything up so it works with your system. So in summary, applications are the programs we use every day and package managers help us to install, update, remove those applications safely and easily. Different Linux distributions might use different package managers, but they all serve the same basic purpose. Now that relationship stack within the operating system looks like this. So we have kernel, then we go a level up to display server, then we go to the desktop environment, package management, and finally applications. So with these first three videos, we covered the basic components of any Linux operating system. I hope this series has helped you to understand how Linux works. Now you have a framework for understanding more complex Linux terminology and know where it belongs when you encounter one. Thanks for watching and happy Linux exploring.